Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. And today I just kind of want to help out a flat earther. Now, this is a video by Rad Vlad and it's 33 minutes long. You know, I thought I'd go through it and maybe give them a few pointers about production quality and storytelling, uh, making a logical argument and presentation. So join me as I help out a fellow YouTube creator. I did like other videos before this one and I, I, I talked too much uh, I, without making a point and getting to the point you know I made like four videos to make the point um I didn't realize I didn't realize I do that but I'm gonna try to just stay on track and stay focused and uh, just deliver the information quickly on this video I apologize to people who watch my videos I'm gonna try to do a better job not a trained speaker. Okay, Vlad, here's your first problem. The title of your video is Why They Lie About the Flat Earth, the final chapter. Okay, you spent 31 and a half seconds telling me that you're a lousy speaker and you can't organize your thoughts. Now, other than demonstrating that for all to see, you haven't even mentioned the subject of your video. So, let me see if I can rephrase this for you and help you out a little bit. Hi, I'm Bob the Science Guy. I'm not a professional speaker, but I'd like to put to rest some of the rumors I've heard about the Flat Earth. There you go. You, know, you guys uh, probably didn't know that, but oh yeah, it's true. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna try to I'm try to get to the, make the points quick, man. Um, no, man, never would have guessed that. Not in a million years. But they lie about Flat Earth, so you will die and go to hell. Well, great. You got to the... The same reason they lie about evolution. Same reason they lie about the Big Bang Zynga, the Big Bang. Uh, same reason they lie about gigantic infinite space. And you're just a tiny little insignificant worm on a tiny little insignificant planet, like a particle of dust in a giant universe you mean nothing that's what they want you to think there's no god watching you well you were off to a really good start but here's what i would do i would probably move the title of the video a little closer to the front of the video uh, and rather than tell people they're all going to die and go to hell say hey if you enjoy this video hit that little like and subscribe button down there maybe hit my patreon up if you want to donate to the channel I appreciate your support, and I look forward to having you on Team Bob. That's what's happening here. Um, that's why evolution is taught. Evolution is the stupidest, most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. I can't believe anybody believes it. Okay, dude, your video is about why do they lie about the flat earth. Now you're going off into evolution, the Big Bang, Ins insignificant specks of dust in everlasting space. All right, let's get rid of all of that crap and kind of stick to the flat earth, okay? So let's go back to some of your flat Do you magically morph from a monkey and a rat into a human or did anything like just build, its, build itself all by itself for no reason and no without an architect or designer it's just it just things get built how come we build cities and why don't we just wait and why don't why can't we just find like cities built for us already everything's been around the same amount of time the earth's been around okay now dude remember back at the beginning of the video where you said you had trouble staying on point and making one video instead of four okay well that's what you're doing right now so so far we've hit creationism We've hit Flat Earth just in the title of your video. You haven't really talked that much about it. We've talked about Mud Flood and the Tartarian Empire, you know, with all of these ancient civilizations that just left all of their cities intact, um, you know, to be cleaned up by the kids on the orphan train. So let's, let's get to the point of this video, and that is the Flat Earth, okay? Focus grasshopper. You build life forms, but didn't uh, the elements didn't move uh, rocks and 
metal and bricks into positions we could live in. You know, it, it's a ridiculous lie. Okay, so now you're trying to make a link between evolution, which is a biological function, and geology and building construction, okay, which are not biological functions, okay? The only thing that they all have in common is you have to put work into the system in order to make it happen. Now, the other thing that I would like to mention to you is look at your, your visual here. It's a grainy photograph of a painting. You haven't changed it at all. You know, you should mix this up a little bit to keep the viewer's attention. That was a problem I had when I first started out, is I left images up too long and people got bored of looking at them. You leave this same image up the entire 33-minute video, which I think... You know, they always, they, they, they mock us. They mock belief. The belief us is the people who have faith, people with a soul. Well, no, it's not that we mock you because you have faith or you have a soul. Uh, we get frustrated when you try and confabulate evolution into rocks spontaneously coming together to build castles and other structures. You know, that lack of insight and understanding, uh, something that we all picked up probably in middle school, kind of frustrates us a little bit. But what frustrates us even more, and you may interpret this as mocking, is that we give you the correct information, and yet you continue to persist with insisting that evolution means rocks will come together to form a bridge all on their own. You know, it it gets old sometimes. The other side, I don't know if they even have a soul. Well, there's different levels of it. Um, some may just be a body or maybe possessed by some other entity within that body. I don't really don't know. I just know what I am. What you are is a man struggling to get to his point, okay? And you're confabulating all of this other nonsense about religion and the Big Bang and everything else, but you still have not gotten to the point of your video, which is why did they tell lies about the flat earth? The final chapter. Red rum. And some people close to me. Um, um, but, um, oh, uh, man, I kind of lost my point right there. Oh, dear God. Um, they, I was talking about evolution. Um, oh, yeah. We get, okay, I remember now. The atheist likes to mock the um, God-believing person. Oh, you have a sky wizard. You have a sky wizard that just now uh, created everything. Well, yeah, we do. Where's your sky wizard? Who they created? Every, they created your stuff. At least we have the sky wizard. The sky wizard. That is the strength of your argument. You have a sky wizard. Okay. I can deal with it. We've never observed nothing making something complex anything more than a blob. Vlad, do you know where babies come from? You know, the entire organism that is born comes from two half cells that come together like that, okay? And then from that one cell, organ systems develop. It's a, it's beautiful. Look into it someday. The, what, so, so if they lie to us, so, so the, the, all these things that are taught to people, Big Bang, evolution, space, and now Earth, the shape of Earth, flat Earth, is also a part of it now. Um, round Earth, which was what was taught now we're seeing it's flat. Um, if people knew they're on a on a flat earth with a firmament and God above, you know, they, they would they'd be a step closer to having faith, a saving faith in God. But but if you can deceive as many people as possible into thinking and believing they live in a godless universe, that it's possible to be here without God. 
uh, you you won half the battle. You get that soul halfway to hell. Okay, so 10 minutes into this, we're kind of getting to the point of your video, and that is that the flat earth is proof that God exists, and if you deny the flat earth, you're denying the existence of God. Okay. Why don't you go back a couple of videos and listen to the story I told about my mom making cookies. You know, when I was five, I had no idea how that worked. It was a miracle to me. Mom was the creator of delicious chocolate chip cookies. Now, as I grew up and became an adult and got educated, I began to understand that there were ingredients in the cookie dough, and when you put it in the oven, a chemical process occurred, and the end result was cookies. The cookies were still delicious. My mom is still pretty awesome. I just understand how she makes cookies now. That's what science does. Which is what the enemies of God are doing. Who are the enemies of God and man? I'll probably do another video to cover that more detail. Can't wait. But um, I, I just jotted down some scriptures real quick. Uh, John 16, 11 talks about the prince of this world. Not a person. This is a being that's not human. If you read that scripture within the context, you'll see that. Not about a person. Prince of this world. Well, guys, I hope you'll forgive me, but I decided not to run the next 20 minutes of this video. It's just more of the same. Now, my suggestion to Vlad is, you know, hey, man, first label the video correctly. This is the religious aspects of why people disagree with flat earth, okay? That's a perfectly legitimate subject, but call it that. Don't try and couch it in another term to get people to click on it, because somebody like me may click on it and make a video about it. Second, change your scenery a little bit, man. Get some visuals up there to keep interest in. Third, try and pick up the pace a little bit, stay on point, leave the viewer enthralled by your story rather than trying to get through it. If you're gonna make videos, try and make your next video better than the last one. And that's the way I run my channel is I try and make every video a little better than the last one. And uh, hopefully I'm doing that. So if you like my stuff, go ahead and hit that little like and subscribe button down there. I'd like you to maybe drop by my Patreon if you wanna support the channel, I could always use it. You don't get anything special for it, but it's a nice way that you can help me out. So, signing out from Northern Michigan, this is Bob the Science Guy. We'll see you again soon.